Okay, so we've had some people ask about the kind of truck we use to tow the RV, and this is her. It's a 2018 Ford F-250, 4x4, and it's the V8 gas, not the diesel. We uh, chose the gas mostly for financial reasons. It's so much cheaper, but uh, I'll go into the details in a bit. This is the interior. It did not come with floor mats, so we upgraded to WeatherTech's right off the bat because I didn't want to damage anything. Being a 2018, I wanted to try to hold its value as long as it can. Um, part of why we love it is that we were looking for one with an upgraded stereo, which this came with. It's got the larger screen than the standard. We wanted there to be a center console, but uh, that's only in the more upgraded models. This is the XL which is the lowest edition, but it's got the STX package for the exterior. So it's got the bench seat, which is pretty nice. It uh, opens up down below for additional storage. And then obviously the, the seat itself, which has storage also. Now we'll go to the other side. Like I said, the STX package comes with the chrome grille, chrome wheels, different badging than just XL. I love that the mirrors, they are extend. Granted, it's manual, but they still do it. Driver's seat. Same thing. That's the... Uh, cluster there. It's a bare bones truck, but we love it. No sunroof or anything. Got some storage here for sunglasses. And there's, uh, this is our little trash can, but there's also storage there. I guess that's like an ashtray or coin tray or something. USB, uh, cigarette lighter, and then up there's a 12 volt. And, uh, it's got the electronic 4x4, that was another thing we wanted. I didn't want to have to uh, manually use a stick. And I feel like those are just, you have to kind of be rolling, it's kind of awkward. So I wanted the electric and it's got the, the uh, handbrake there. <clears throat> Trailer brake. In the back seat. We added these, we got them off Amazon. It's got a little table. And it's not super sturdy, but you could put a laptop there or something. And uh, it's got a spot for like a tissue box and drink holders, just anything you could think of. It's handy. Here is a cigarette lighter and cup holders. We wish there was the drop down armrest cup holders here, but there aren't. These seats fold up. Give you all that space, both sides. Um, the WeatherTech floor liners cover the whole thing. I opted for the ones that have the high ridged edges so uh, spills and stuff don't go all over the place. But because of that, they kind of do this whole thing. But I don't sit in the back, I can deal with it. The only thing I'm not used to with this newer truck is that. Uh, the back seat doesn't fold down. I grew up with back seats folding down. Instead, this one, only the bottom of the seat folds up. Very strange. I know people have modded this, so you can pull this down, but I don't think you get a whole lot of space. I mean, you can see there's a little room back there. That's my old license plate. So I might do that at some point. But that's it, that's a grand tour. Not a whole lot to it. These running boards came with it, they're nice. It's got the short bed, which uh, that's gonna be our future cover that I'm gonna put on next. You get to see that. Love the messy garage. The tailgate. The other thing this has is the uh, 
cameras everywhere. So it's got a camera here, obviously, but it's got cameras underneath the mirrors here, as well as a camera in the front and a camera up here. So it gives you the 360 views. It's pretty nice, but two of the cameras are almost completely burned out already on a 2018, so I'm gonna have to get that fixed. But that's her. Uh, we get about eight miles of the gallon towing. I average probably 12 driving and heavy city driving. And on the highway, it can be 16 to, to 22, depending on the speed. I don't feel like the truck is underpowered, but it does have to use some RPMs to get up those inclines. So one difference of gas and diesel there. But uh, I, I feel completely safe towing with it. All right, guys, hopefully you can hear me. We're upgrading the truck for the first time. I got a truck bed cover. I went into the local cap world. I've done the research. I looked into them. I know how much I'm willing to spend, which is not much. I had a cheap truck bed cover on my last truck. It worked great. The only thing I didn't like is it was snaps, and I want to go with the trifold. So uh, they run between two, four hundred dollars, depending on what kind you're looking at. And uh, I figured if I can spend at the low end of that, it could be complete junk. If it lasts me a year, I got my money's worth out of it. So I went in, I told them I wanted the cheapest trifold they had, and this is what it is. I'll find out. I don't even know the brand name. So everything on it says that it's the Trail FX, Trail FX Soft Fold. So here's our new truck bed cover, fresh out of the box. I feel like it's going to get us through everything we need. I don't need a whole lot of it. Just keep the rain out. That's all I'm looking for. So this is our first upgrade to the truck, and I'm going to show you guys how it works. They say it takes zero tools and somebody who knows what they're doing could do it in 10 minutes. So I'm sure I can make a good hour out of it. Okay, there's the finished product. Trail FX is the brand name. And it looks good. I can already tell. I mean, maybe this will go away over time from being folded in the box. But I could see that being something that people wouldn't like. That it flares out. Does it on both sides, but I don't care. So, you can see, I mean, I'm putting a lot of effort, it's not going anywhere. The middle's nice and secure. I mean, nothing, it's not even budging. It's great, these are the clips. So when it's all folded up, you can clip it and leave the back open. It's awesome. That's the overall. Clean. So a real time update on the truck bed cover. It's worked phenomenally. We've driven over 10,000 miles. Uh, it's been snowed on, sleeted, hailed, rained. No water's gotten through. Uh, the only thing I could say is that maybe it's gotten slightly discolored, a little less black, uh, which I think if I use the right products on it, it would keep it black or make it go back to the original darkness of it, but it 250 bucks, you can't beat it. Uh, I didn't go into detail in the video of how the mechanism works, but it's basically a bolt 
with a lever on it. You screw the lever up tighter, closer to uh, to the truck edge, to the bed edge. It hooks underneath, and you clamp it down, and it gives it the leverage, and it holds on real tight. And real basic, no tools needed. Um, awesome. I would buy it again for sure. Hope you enjoyed it. Thanks. Oh, 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 oh,